Okay, um, the camera's all set up. Thanks. Okay, well, I guess I'll be leaving now. Okay. Gabby, are you sure you want to do this? I mean... Yes, David, I have to do this. Thank you for setting up the camera, David. No problem. I guess I'll be going now. Good luck, Gabby. Good it together, Gabby. Hi. Hi now. You've probably heard about what happened. I'm not exactly sure who you are anymore. At first, these videos were just meant for my hero, Isabella Beck. But ever since George's stupid video went viral, my... This channel has seen a pretty significant increase in viewers and comments. Not all of them nice which maybe I deserve. Anyways, hello to you all. I wanted to give you an update. Um, a lot of people have been very vocal in the comments about how I should be disqualified from the contest and how my obsession with Isabella is cringe, how Teenage girls are so dumb and shouldn't be allowed to post on YouTube. They bring the platform as a whole down a peg. Well, some of you will be glad to know that I was actually disqualified from the competition. After some correspondence with the judges to confirm what my ex-best friend Georgia said was true, I received my letter in the mail yesterday notifying me of my official disqualification. So, uh, I'm not exactly sure what to do now. I know what I did was wrong and that I unintentionally hurt people like Diana, my sister. I made things hard for her at school and with her soccer team. I promise I wasn't trying to do anything harmful. I just love writing so much, and I just wanted to share it with people so bad that it got a little carried away. I thought I was taking a risk, a necessary risk, one that would make me more like Isabella, but I guess I was wrong. A lot of people have been making fun of me in the comments about how much I admire Isabella and value her advice. But you know what? Maybe she wasn't watching these videos or responding to them, but it was fun to pretend. I just thought that someone was finally taking me seriously, despite my age. I guess that's what I was trying to do with the contest in hopes that someone, anyone would take me seriously I, uh, I wrote a letter. I had something to say. It was too important to just wing it. I get too emotional to just say it from my head. So I'm just gonna read it out loud. Here it is. An open letter to Isabella Beck. Or, Dear Isabella. The past month, I've wanted nothing more than to believe that you were watching my videos. I kept myself up at night, energized by the excitement caused by just the thought of you even knowing who I was. Now, I really hope that these videos are something you'll never see. I'm embarrassed to look back after all that's happened and realize how childish and selfish I was being. Those definitely aren't the qualities that I learned from watching your interviews, and it's certainly not the writer that I aspire to be. Your example is one of re resilience and generosity. You give so freely of your talents and your ideas. You command the room and make everybody's attention stay on you. 
you're powerful and wise. Because of you, I learned that I don't have to be some 40-year-old woman in order for people to finally start taking me seriously. Because of you, I believed that my ideas were enough now. But after everything that's come out about me over the last few weeks, I understand if you decide to stop giving me advice. I haven't proven myself to be a worthy protege of yours. I understand if you need to find another young writer to bestow your wisdom upon. One who isn't me, who will forever be my favorite playwright, who will forever be my hero. Thank you, Isabella. Goodbye. Sincerely, Gabby.